What's up YouTube, it's your boy Will Motivation back again with another video and today we got a special treat for you and we got a question that I need you guys to answer for me. Should we get one of these beautiful new Lotus Samiras? So I'm here at Midwestern Auto Group. I'm actually doing three things. One, dropping off the BMW M4 for, to put my wheels back on the right wheel motivi wheel motivation motivo wheels you know how we do getting those put back on and we are specking out a brand new car i'm gonna let you guys guess which one it is but we just came across so there's gonna be three videos so you guys stay tuned for the other videos but this video we're talking about should we get the new lotus take a look yeah i just happened to be driving by I was like, man, what is that? So I'm impressed. I'm not going to lie. I am impressed. But we're here to spec out another car from another brand. Something that you guys have been saying that we put on, should put on the channel. Before I turn this corner and show you guys these Lotuses, um, let me give you the news. We are specking out a brand new Porsche. Now you guessed the right Porsche. Then we're gonna, you're gonna win a prize, but stay tuned. Now I'm real happy with my um, BMW M4, I must say. So shout out to Steve and the crew here at Midwestern Auto Group, BMW Dublin, Mag. But back to the story at hand. Should we get a Lotus Amira? The price point on these cars is really good, but uh, let me show you guys what I see and why I'm so impressed. Bam! That blue is popping too. That blue is popping. Look at that. Dude. The red. That red looks really good too. I'm not feeling the green. That's like a dark green. The yellow's popping, but it's not really my thing. It's like an orangish yellow with a red interior, the McDonald's, Ronald McDonald spec. It's manual. Got the manual in there. Look at that. So what do you guys think of the Lotus Amira? It is a six cylinder uh, supercharged and then they're making a four cylinder turbocharged engine from Mercedes. The six cylinder engine is from Toyota. I like it, uh, but it, I'm very clear on the fact that it looks better in the bright colors. The dark color, I'm not really a fan of. It's that British racing green type color goes well with the interior they're all manual so far all manual so far that red looks really really good what do you guys think i mean we could get one of these for the channel i don't know how long it would take for them to show up but i mean they're hitting it they're hitting the dealerships now but they're waiting for like emissions uh approval so these cars haven't been delivered to the customers yet because they're waiting for emissions. That blue is popping. I would get blue. I think I would get blue. With the gloss black, the black wheels, and probably a black interior. But yeah, these are all manuals, which means they are uh, the six cylinder engine with the supercharger on it. The black roof looks really good. Damn, I, I'm, I'm feeling it. So drop me a comment. Let me know, should we get a Lotus Amira. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Will Motivation. We're back again with another video. And today we're talking about how much money we ended up making with our two recent real estate projects where I flipped two new builds. So we're gonna talk about the numbers with those new builds. But first, we're gonna go check out some Airbnb apartments here in Medellin, Colombia. Man, I just woke up. I need, hold on, hold on, rewind. Yeah, all right, here we go, here we go. So yeah, we're gonna check out Airbnb properties down in Medellin, Colombia, handling some business with four investment properties that I have here. I'm in one of the investment properties 
now that I stay in while I've been rehabbing the other apartments. So I'm meeting up with someone that I'm gonna actually work with to be the property manager because I'm not always here in Columbia. I come down maybe 30% of the time to Columbia. So he is going to be the property manager for my Airbnbs. So you guys can meet him in case you one day wanna rent one of my Airbnbs. But I'm finally getting stuff together. A lot of people have been asking me when can they rent out my property to come to Medellin. And the time is coming very, very soon. So we're gonna meet up with Isaac. We're gonna check out his Airbnbs. And then we're gonna come out and check out the status of mine. Talk about what we're gonna do to them to get them finalized and ready to go. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. So this is gonna be a real estate vlog, a travel vlog, and let's go. This is my trusty WRX that I drive down here in Columbia. Gotta have something that's fun, but not too flashy. WRX is a good choice. Really fun car to drive for Columbia. I got it cause it's like a rally car and down here the roads are kind of crazy. Reminds you of like driving a rally. And it's not that Yamativa is what they say. It doesn't call that much attention. I had a Mustang, man, but that Mustang was like having an exotic, man. I'm telling you, it was crazy. So I sold the Mustang and actually paid for the remodel of one of my apartments. I sold it to the contractor and I stayed with this and then I got a GLI Volkswagen, which I love. It's kind of like my Audi S3 a little bit. But yeah, we're gonna go check out the Airbnbs here. We just got here. We're gonna check out Isaac 602 in Salinares. So this one, this property is actually for sale Yep, this is Isaac. So he's the super host down here for Airbnb. So Isaac's gonna be helping me out, renting out my apartments, but he wanted to show me some of his apartments that uh, he represents not only on Airbnb, but this one's actually for sale. There's a guest bathroom here as you enter. So this is the guest bathroom. This is a really nice house. This is like four or five bedrooms, which we'll show you all of them. So this is your half bath. So if somebody comes over, guests come over, that kind of thing. And this is 230 square meters. It's a two-story apartment. 2,600 square feet, really big. So this is your living room area. You got a walkout balcony with a sitting area. Look at that view, Medellin. Man, this is sweet. So I know you guys are gonna be asking me, like after you see this place, you guys are gonna be like, how much is it to rent it out? Or how much is it for sale? And we'll get into that after we walk through. So this is the kitchen. You can actually close the kitchen off. So if you got somebody, a chef in there cooking stuff up, and you guys are in here having your meeting at the table, close it off, little breakfast area. This is sweet. So you got your full-size laundry in here, washer and dryer. This can be like a kid's room or like a maid's quarter, but it also has its own really nice bathroom. This is crazy. Got TV in here, like a twin-size bed, dishwasher, brand new appliances. It looks dope. All right, so let's check out the bedrooms. That's pretty sweet. And in this office, you could add a door to close it off to have a sixth bedroom if you wanted. Really nice office space with sitting area. This is really nice. High ceilings. A view. Man, this is dope, bro. And then you have the main bedroom. So this is the master bedroom. I really like this furniture, to be honest. And the master has its own little walkout to the balcony. Its own balcony with a view. Master bathroom with a shower. And a, even a view out of the shower. And a huge, that shower is huge. This is dope, man. Towel racks, linen, your dual vanities. This is, man, it's really nice. You got two closets. One, like, for his and hers. Huge closets. Huge closet, look at this, it's crazy. It's a real nice size bedroom though. All right, let's go upstairs. So this is kind of rare in Medellin, especially for an apartment to have two levels. Oh, check this out. Look at this area right here. This is this normal apartment. Oh yeah, this is dope. So this is like a gym, but it could be another bedroom. Got a TV in here, got a work area. Share a balcony with the other bedroom, with a view. Crazy. The shared bathroom, Man, this is really nice. Right. Every bedroom has not only its own bathroom, but a little work area with the shower in the back. Man, this is crazy. Look at this. Beautiful light coming in from the ceiling. Dope. This is nice. So you got your balcony walking off of this bedroom. This is really nice. I'm gonna have to rent this out. But on Airbnb for, for the apartments that we're doing, there's a monthly rental. So we'll talk about that at the end, how you can work with us on that if you're not coming out for a month. But walk-in closet here, beautiful view. It's own bathroom as well. I like these skylights. Skylights are dope. And the price, everyone will want to know, it goes for 4,500 US per month. It's for sale, fully furnished for 2 billion Colombian pesos, which translates to about 500,000 US. So this is like, imagine you're coming from New York or LA. This is like a steal, right? New York or LA, something like this would probably be three times that. It'd probably be three, four million dollars. Dang, bro. So 10 times that. <laughs> 
This is crazy. So yeah, so that's the price. To rent it out, it's basically a minimum of $4,500. So if somebody wanted to come down for two weeks and pay the full month price. They'd have to sign a month contract and then just leave early. Because in Colombia, right. the buildings require minimum 30 days unless you have a special license. So basically you have to sign a month contract. You come for a couple weeks, but you pay the full price and just leave early. That's how we're gonna do it. We're looking for, you know, serious folks that wanna come down. Not your folks that are gonna come party and tear up the spot. So if you're coming to party and tear up the spot, this ain't it. I want you to think about that for a minute. Let's say you were gonna come down here for a month, right? And you didn't wanna stay in a hotel. But if you wanted to stay in a nice hotel, a nice hotel, you probably would pay $200 a night, right? So this is less than $200 a night, and you get a whole house with five bedrooms in it, basically. Balconies, walkouts, security guard downstairs. So this is really a steal when you think about it. Less than $200 a night, four bedrooms. This is dope. I like my spot. All right, so we're gonna walk through the house and Isaac's gonna give me his Airbnb tips and recommendations so we can get this thing ready to rent. All right, so in the guest bathroom, we'll put in a small piece of art above the toilet. We'll have some rolled up towels in the drawers like yep. the hotel style. Some towels there. We'll have a basket in there. Yep, with a decorative. Small, smaller rolled up towels. We'll have a diffuser like how you have with the here. I'll try to rearrange this to see if I can make it a little bit different. Okay. Um, maybe another rug in the coffee table. Okay. Rug in the coffee table. The desk, I'll see if I'll move to a different location so it's not in the room. Mm -hmm. Here, we're going to put a lot of plants and outdoor rug. A little nature space. Yeah. A lot more plants in pots, outdoor rugs. Master bedroom back here. We'll uh, take this piece of art down and add two or three smaller pieces above the bed. We'll add a rug here. Rug, smaller artwork. And some small candles or some small plants. In this bathroom, same thing, a small piece of art above the toilet. We'll do a basket here with some small roll of towels and nice hand soap on each side. Okay. In this balcony, we can have two floating chairs with a small table and a plant on the table. All right, so two floating chairs, small table with a plant. Here, we can put two. A little artwork. Same thing here, we'll put some smaller pieces of art there. Yep. Second master, or maybe move the desk here. Might be a, there's a little more space. And this is the one same thing. So smaller. Two or three smaller pieces of work. A piece of work here above the toilet. All right, so there'll probably be some small details where I'll just like give you a budget for your people to just run. And it's the, like for these, for each bed, you're gonna wanna have four rectangular pillows. Okay. There's gonna be two square pillows and one like lumber pillow. I like the bedding that was in that upstairs apartment. Actually, it's very similar to what was in your apartment as well. This one has the mirror closets? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we don't really need a mirror in this room because they could look at their outfit there. Yeah. Um, Okay, so I promised to tell you guys how much money we made on the two most recent new build projects that I had in Columbus, Ohio. Actually, it was in a suburb of Columbus, Ohio called Delaware. A little bit out of my normal range of doing a project, but I'm gonna break down both projects to you really quickly so that you know how much money you can make investing in new build projects, either as the investor that controls the rehab and everything, or as a private money lender type of investment where you do nothing but lend the money and then get the return. So the easy one is where I lit the money and got the return. And that was the first project, the big white house. I partnered up with my realtor and I partnered up with another investor. That other investor did all of the work. He managed the contractors, he got all the materials, and I basically funded the project. So the amount of money that I put into that project was about $526,000. It took them about, I'll give you the exact number on the screen, and we recently sold that house for $760,000, and my cut of that was about, I actually got, when they sent me the money back, it was $601,000. So I put in 525 and I got 601. So I made roughly $75,000 off of that project and I didn't have to do anything. It was roughly a little more than 10% return on my investment. All right, so that was project number one. Project number two was my project where I did all of the work. The cost of the house or my initial investment was $610,000. I then put in roughly $30,000 on the rehab, so that was six forty. dollars I sold it for seven thirty, dollars and if you subtract all of the realtor fees, the closing costs, I got a net deposit back from that investment, which was $679,000 is what I got from that investment. So we made roughly a little over forty grand on that property. Actually, I made out a little bit better just investing the money and getting the return. 
I'll have to be doing more of that. So you guys stay tuned if you want some more real estate content. I'll drop more of it. And if you want the car content, I'm on my way back home. We're in Medellin, Colombia right now. Check out this lighting right here. Nice. But if you want a little bit more of that car content, stay tuned to the channel. I'm actually getting ready to go put a car on order. A lot of you guys have been saying you love the Lambo content, you love the Ferrari content, but what about the Porsche content? Stay tuned. Hey, I just wanted to say thanks for watching today's video. There's a lot more to come. Hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel. A lot of you guys have been asking me about when is my online course going to be ready? Well, I have good news for you. My online course is completed. Um, I'll put a link in the description of this video where you can click on that link and get a 40% discount off the course. That'll be for the first 50 students. So if you're ready to take the online course that I've basically laid out everything that I know about how to invest in real estate, click the link below or just go to www dot willmotivation.com slash invest and i uh, thank you guys for taking the time out to watch today's video hope you learned something and i'll see you in the next one peace it's the one and only floyd money mayweather i'm here to tell you guys to go to wheel motivation the exotic cars is crazy i've been watching this show for a little while now and it's growing but we need everybody else to subscribe to wheel motivation and support will i'm supporting them you do the same